so the big block engine purchase um, funny story Chad bought that without my um, not say approval but without consulting with me I suppose um, I was in the city getting my hair done by my sister and uh, Nate came into work that day and said that he posted his Bronco for sale and uh, somebody had called him and wanted to do like a partial trade they were gonna give him cash plus uh, this big block engine um, so Nate knew that that was like the perfect engine for the 40 Ford build and uh, I know it is too but I'm not used to spending that kind of money on an engine so it kind of you know it was a shock to the system I'll put it that way and like normally you know everything we buy and invest in it's a conversation between Chad and I right like we're we're quite a team in that sense we do everything together we're together full-time and our entire purpose is running our business and it's what fuels us it's what makes us happy um, so normally when we go to buy anything like a motorcycle a project car like I'm the one that normally does the investigation and the research to make sure it's the right video you know run it by your significant other you know what I mean like it's the least you can do <laughs> right Fina? right Fina? right she said right um, but yeah I'm heading to the machine shop we had to get uh, the spring shackles machined uh, for the 36 Hudson so if you remember, uh, the spring was broken, so we ended up taking it to the city last week, and we thought we could get a whole new spring made um, in the exact same shape, size, yada yada. Turns out they couldn't do that, so we ended up picking up some trailer springs from our local RV store. But when we got them back to the shop, they were the different. They were a different length, so what do we do? We modify it to work, but in order for it to work, we had to change the spring hanger location and we had to get the spring hangers machine. So that is what I'm doing right now. There's so much going on in the shop lately. It's kind of crazy and it's overwhelming. We're working on like what, four different cars right now. So it's kind of hard to keep it all check like yesterday we had um, the the glass going in we're quite a few videos ahead because there's so much stuff going on that I'm just like filming everything and we're getting you know quite a few episodes ahead um, which is kind of nice because I feel like we may actually get to take this weekend off which would be kind of different Schedule, but we enjoy. 
enjoy it. You know, like I think my family thinks we're crazy for how much we work. But, uh, you know, when things are going well, you want to keep the gas pedal down. And it's just kind of a, I don't know, it's a fun journey that we're on right now. Like, there's never a dull day. There's always something going on. And, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the 50 Ford. It's looking really good. Um, you know, I have to post a picture of the inspiration for the interior color. I know a lot of people are like, why? <laughs> why would I choose that color? But there's this um, Barbie outfit from 1960 that has that same like brown scale pattern with that same bright citrus green and uh, I was just I don't know I liked it and I thought it would go good with the, the brown paint but now that it's in there it's kind of it is kind of bold and I just hope I made the right decision but we won't really know until we see it all come together so I think I'm gonna do like a brown carpet when I had that olive green interior picked out, I thought it was gonna do like a green moss carpet and just do like the entire inside green, but I don't know. I don't know, my plan changes all the time. So I am getting close to the machine shop, trying to swerve the potholes. Cheers. <laughs>